Hey guys, my name is Blaze Bali, and for those who don't know me, I run an online education business and my mission is to help a thousand coaches, consultants, high ticket service providers to change millions of lives by 2025. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the three, three big um, areas that I've identified as life changing. Okay, so I think we can agree that Everybody on planet Earth wants, wants to have a good life, right? We want to be happy. We want to be wealthy. We want to have good relationships. We want to have inner peace and balance. And we really want all those things, right? And so what I identified based on my journey and based on what has happened to me in the past four years is that there are like three big areas to this thing. And in this video, I'm going to break them down one by one. Uh, and I would give you three strong points you can work on for each and every one of these areas okay so the first area is your mindset and your habits um and so especially when you are it doesn't matter if you're in a nine to five you're a freelancer you are in the beginning phase of your business or you're already running a uh, successful business you always have to make sure that you work on your mindset and your habits and um, the three areas you could focus on or you should definitely focus on the first one is really goal setting, right? What are your goals? What are your expectations? Goal setting is super important because just think about it. If you were to sit in a car, right? And you would not set your goals, meaning you wouldn't put into the GPS where you want to go, then how would you get to where you want to go, right? And so think about life the same way. If you want to go from, you know, from wherever you are to a desired state, then you have to set certain goals, certain KPIs in order to get there or else it's just never going to happen. So block out the time, even post this video if you don't have like certain goals for this year and set those goals right now. The second one is really your identity and beliefs. So once you have those goals, you have to make sure that the identity and your internal beliefs are actually matching those goals in a sense that you are that character who can achieve those goals, right? So there are like a lot of different um, exercises around this. One of them is creating a um, a vision board, writing out your perfect day, um, you know, visualizing what you want in life, like so many things you can do in order to make this identity shift and uh, create stronger beliefs, affirmation, like I'm not going to go into details, uh, but really I find it super important to emphasize that that's really the second most important point when it comes to like mindset and habits. The third one is really the environment, the process, you have to make sure that whatever habit you want to do, uh, you have to have a certain environment and a good process around it. What do I mean by that? Okay, so let's say you don't want to eat chocolate, right? Just like, or don't want to eat sweets. The easiest way not to eat sweets is to make it harder for you to eat sweets, right? So what you're going to do is you're not going to buy them, right? If you don't have it in your house, then it's much more easier to not eat them. Um, and then they're like, you know, I, I don't want to go into details really. I just really want to keep this video top level. But this is a good example. So just to summarize, when it comes to like mindset and habits, you have to make sure you have like clear goals, you work on your identity and your beliefs to match those goals, and then you create the right environment and the right process to achieve that. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, the second one is, and this is what I believe, is generate wealth by solving a valuable problem. Now, what I teach to people is I help people sell high ticket services, meaning I help those people to turn their you know, information, experience, advice into businesses, right? So this is what I know how it works. And yes, you can build a software company as well. Yes, you can build many, many things. And those are all very valuable problems we are solving. So there are many ways to go about that. But this is this is the one I'm going to uh, use as example because this is the area I know. And this is where I've built two businesses already. Okay, so to simplify it, in order to, in order to make money, you know, solving a valuable problem, all you, all you need is Step number zero, pretty much you have to have some kind of experience and some kind of knowledge, right? That you can use. Uh, if you don't yet have that, don't freak out. Like you can learn that for free, okay? You can read books, you can read articles, you can watch videos on YouTube. And if you wanna learn a bit faster, you can literally pay uh, a couple hundred dollars for a course when they teach you the basics of that skill. Now, once you have the skills, and maybe you have it for free because maybe you were like, overweight in the past and you lost that all that weight, right? Then you are your own case study and you can like go out and start helping people. So from there, once you have the skill, you need three things. The first one is to get people's attention and generate leads. The second one is to, to have the know-how around how to get those leads on a call, on a sales call and how to close those deals. And the third one really is how to deliver a good service. Now, as for lead generation, there are like a billion ways you can do that. Um, you can use organic marketing, you can use paid advertising, you can use word of mouth marketing. Like if you look it up in Google, like there are like endless ways to do that. 
So there are like a million ways to do this. There are pros and cons to everything. And the reason most people are confused on when or how to use them is that their use cases varies based on what type of business you are running, right? So for high ticket service based businesses, what I always recommend people is to use organic marketing, right? Use organic marketing and sales to get your first couple clients, get them results, get the case studies under your belt, and then you can use paid advertising to scale that, right? Um, when it comes to closing the deals, um, my advice would be for everyone watching is that you really have to learn how to listen to people. It's super important. Um, you also have to learn, you also have to build a strong mindset around sales. You have to have belief in yourself and in your own product. And the third one really, like once you can listen to people and you have strong beliefs in your, in yourself and your product, the third one is really to know how to communicate that value, know how to communicate the value of your service to the, to the people listening. And guys, the third and the last part that one needs for a good life is really just inner peace and balance because you can have all the, all the rest checked out. Like you have like strong mindset, strong habits, great business, millions of dollars. But if you don't have inner peace and, and balance, it's pretty much all for nothing. All right. And so three ma main things you need in order to find inner peace and balance. And it's not something consistent. It's not something you're always having, but this is something that you thrive for is that have constraints on your professional life. And what do I mean by that, right? Like know how many hours you want to work a week and track those hours. Make sure that you are tracking those hours. Uh, no set, set boundaries, set constraints regarding, you know, what time, when are you working and when are you not working? So you're not getting into internal conflict with yourself regarding, you know, whether you should work late hours or you wouldn't feel, even when you're not working, some people, some entrepreneurs tell me that when they don't work, they feel like they are lazy. Right. And the reason behind that is that they don't have certain constraints and boundaries. And so for me, I want to stop working at around 8, 9 p.m. So if I'm not working after 8, 9 p.m., I don't feel guilty. Right. But before, like, you know, whatever, like, let's say in the morning, I don't want to work. Then, you know, I have to have this internal conversation with myself, whether it's like me just being lazy or it is a rest day. Right. But you have to always set these constraints before that conversation happens. So you know how to navigate in the process. The second one is really to have self-reflection and self-awareness. Like, um, this is, I think one of the biggest contributor to my success, literally from day one, I've been journaling, I've been reflecting on myself. It is just something that is so powerful that nothing can even come close to like proper self-reflection and self-awareness. Um, I can tell stories about like how I was four years ago, but I think, uh, it's much easier to just like check my Instagram. You would see in the story highlights where I was and you know, um, like how far I've come and, and most of those things could be contributed to mentors and obviously like proper self reflection and self awareness. And the last one, and I couldn't emphasize this more, but to me guys, this is the biggest one. It's meditation. Meditation changed my life forever. Meditation is something that gave me back a lot of happiness, gave me back a lot of headspace, allowed space for creativity. And um, really it, it helps me in all areas of life. So if you're not meditating, the easiest way to get into meditation is literally just um, use apps. I think the two best apps I know, and it's not an affiliate thingy, uh, go just Google it. One is Headspace. That's what I've used. And I also know that there is another one called Unwinding Anxiety. Those are really good ways to get into meditation. Um, and then from there, I think for people watching who can afford have a coach, have them with meditation, I would really recommend find a meditation master, someone who's believable and start working with, uh, him, her, because to me, that's the way I got into meditation. Like I really, after spending a couple, like I would, I would say I spent like three, four months on an app, but it was not, you know, I was just getting into it, but it was not a big success, but, um, everything changed once I found my meditation master and I started to, and I committed to, to make this happen. I was meditating 40, 40 minutes every single day. And I, I meditate at least half an hour every, every single day ever since. So this is what I got for you guys. Again, just to summarize. First one is mindset and habits. The second one is generating wealth by solving a valuable problem. And the third one is really finding inner peace and balance. So if you can focus on these areas of life, uh, then, um, you know, you, you would definitely live a good life, um, a life with unlimited wealth, right? It's just, you would have as much money as you want to, uh, money wouldn't, wouldn't even be a question anymore. wouldn't really matter anymore. 
Um, you will have amazing people in your life, right? Amazing friends, amazing uh, connections in your life and amazing relationships. And then uh, you would just live more peacefully. You would just enjoy every single moment uh, a bit more day by day, week by week, month, month by month. And um, I think uh, that's one of the most important things in life. So if you enjoyed this video, um, just drop a, drop a comment, drop a like, let me know what you like about it. Also, if you feel like you want me to go deeper into one of these topics, because I know this video was really, you know, surface level, and do not hesitate to let me know which topic you want to get more insights on. And I would literally just read the comments, get back to you. And uh, I would just shoot that video for you. Okay, so um, again, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.